Well, it was our nine months, actually, in the Mosul campaign. We've been working in Iraq for about three years. But this nine months in the Mosul campaign, we'd seen more and more civilians being killed. And the day before that event happened, about 30 civilians came running from the ISIS side shot, and about 100 more that weren't shot, saying they're slaughtering us, they're killing our kids. And one man was crying and telling me, they just shot my two daughters right in front of me, and I, I couldn't even pick them up. I had to take my other kid, and my wife was shot, crying. I'm a father of three, and it made me cry. And we started taking care of these casualties. And where are they coming from? More keep coming. So we went back up the road where the kind of front line is in that part of the city near the first bridge. And we could see on the road lots of people. I didn't know, like 20, 30 people shot dead. Babies, moms, um, old people in wheelchairs shot as they tried to flee across this road. And then it became dark. When more people came crawling across the road shot. We were treating them. The next morning I went and looked at the road again, and I could see now it wasn't 20 or 30. It was 40 or 50 people had been shot. And we could see on the far side of the road, up against a little wall, were some living people waiting at us, help, about 150 yards away. But there's no way to cross the road. ISIS had a strong point at this hospital on the corner of the bridge, and they destroyed armor vehicles, many, many Iraqi soldiers dead. You could not get across the road. So I just prayed, God, help. What can we do? And that's very long story short, the American military, in coordination with the Iraqi army, helped us out, and the Americans dropped smoke, and the Iraqis gave us one tank. And so I had my team with me from Burma and a couple volunteers from America, and we ran behind the tank, which was terrifying. That's all I can say, mm -hmm. because ISIS is shooting us the whole time. And we ran up, and the tank got up to the corner, and it's taking fire, and I look over, and I see this little girl hiding under her dead mother's hijab, mm -hmm. where she'd been for two days. And all around her, the rest of her family's dead, and there's two men waiting at us. And so I thought, well... It's now or never. Go get them or not. And I, I really thought I was going to die. And I've been in many, many combat situations, but this was, to me, like one of the worst. But I said, well, if I die trying to save a little girl, my wife and kids will understand. And it'll be sad. But, and I prayed and I ran. And two of my teammates put down fire. The tank is shooting. And I got the girl. I actually fell down. They all thought I was shot, but I wasn't. I'm just old and broken. <laughs> and picked her up, ran back, and it was, oh, my gosh. Well, there was two more. We went back and got two more, got them back. But as we were pulling out, one of my guys, his name is Ephraim, um, he was shot through the leg, through the calf, and the tank speeded up. It was getting hit, and one of our one of the civilians we tried to save was shot, and we had to we ended up leaving him, which was terrible. So I wasn't a complete success. We lost one of the men we tried to save, and we got one guy, and I was holding holding on to the little girl, and we got her out. 